Okay, what's up YouTube? This is Jay Mantai, and today I have another new video for you guys today. Today's video is on the Iranian uh, Corvetti slash Imperial Yacht, the Hamza. The Hamza is one of the oldest warships still in service to this very day. Originally built in 1936 by the Netherlands or the Dutch for the Imperial Persian Navy, later the Imperial Iranian Navy, under the leadership of the Reza Shah Pahlavi or Pahlavi. In 1936, or in the 1920s and 30s, the Shah Reza Shah or Reza Shah Pahlavi ordered a modernization of the Imperial Iranian Army and Navy. During this modernization, the Reza Shah ordered several new warships. This, this included a new military yacht or a new armored yacht. The armored yacht was called the Shazavar and it was ordered from the Netherlands. The ship entered service in 1937 and served all the way up until to, to this very day. In fact, the Shazavar, which has now been renamed the Hamas, is one of the oldest military vessels still in service in the Middle East. In, in between 1936 and 1940, the Shazavar's main armament was two 37mm deck guns along with two 7.92mm machine guns. Remember, this ship served as the Imperial Yacht for the Pahlavi family or the Pahlavi dynasty of Iran. In 1941, the British Empire and the Soviet Union invaded Iran in what was known as the Anglo-Soviet Invasion of Iran. This was in August 1941. During this time period, the Shazavar was serving as the flagship of the Iranian Caspian Flotilla located on the borders between the Soviet Union and the Kingdom of Iran. During this time period, the Shazavar was captured by the Soviet Union and was used as a training vessel by the Soviet Navy during the Second World War. In 1946, the Shazavar was finally returned to Iran, but by this time, Reza Shah had been replaced by his son, Mohammad Reza Shah. Reza Shah died in 1944, and in fact, in 2018, Reza Shah's mummy was found in, his, in the area where his former mausoleum used to stand before it was torn down in 1980 during the Iranian uh, Revolution. The yacht, the armored military yacht Shah Javar served the Imperial Iranian Navy under Mohammad uh, Reza Shah until he was overthrown in 1979. During this time period though, the ship was overhauled one more, once before his overthrow. After the 1979 Islamic Revolution in Iran, the uh, Shah Zavar was confiscated by the new Islamic Revolutionary Guards Navy. You know, This was during the reign of the first Ayatollah Khomeini. And during that time, Iran was trying to modernize the old uh, Shah Navy. During this time period, the Shah Zavar was renamed the Hamas, and the Hamas was reclassified as a armored corvette or a light corvette. The ship's main armament is two 37 millimeter deck guns were replaced with one 20 millimeter Orlikan auto cannon and two C-802 anti-ship missiles, and at least one 12 millimeter machine gun or two 12 millimeter machine guns, depending on the era. The Hamas still serves in the Iranian Navy today, and it is one of the oldest steel warships serving in the Middle East. Now, this ship is very, very odd. I mean, just it, when you see its design, it is very reminiscent of the 1930s and 40s, but the ship has been overhauled at least three more times since 1979. Now the Shah Zavar, or renamed the Hamas, now has modern uh, radar systems and all that. And, and now the, um, nowadays, as of 2018, or as of 2018, the Shah Zavar slash Hamas has been modernized at least three more times since 1979. As of now, the ship is still fitted with a newer version of the C-802 and slash C-803 anti-ship missiles and a new radio-controlled version of the 20mm Orlikan bottle cannon. 
So yeah, this ship has been in service for 81 years or 80 years and counting. I predict this ship will, will probably still be in service for another 20 years. And if that happens, this would mean that the Shazavar slash the Hamez will be a hundred years old within the, within the next 20 years, making it one of the oldest warships still in combat use to this day. Keep in mind, the Shazavar still serves as the flagship or one of the flagships for the Iranian Caspian Flotilla which is located between the borders of Iran and Russia on the, uh, and, um, and the Black Sea or in the Caspian Sea. So yeah, this ship is pretty old. Like, what do you all think of this vessel? I cannot believe that this ship has been serving for this long. It is probably one of the oldest ships in the Middle East. I'm still trying to figure out if there are any ships older than the Hamas slash Shazavar, but I haven't found any yet. So what do you all think of this video? Please tell me in the comment section below. Also, you know what? I think I should do a video on top 10 oldest military vessels and combat use. When I say combat use, I mean ships that are armed with modern weapons. I'm not talking about like the USS Constellation or HMS Warrior. I'm talking about ships that are like 70 to 80 plus years old and are fitted or have been overhauled to use newer and modern weapons. I'm pretty sure the North Korean Navy probably has some vessels that are from the 40s also. But for now, the Hamas slash Shazavar seems to be the oldest steel warship in, readily, in ready combat use. The ship is older than the Iowa class battleships, which are America's um, oldest um, military combat vessels that are still in ready use. So yeah. So what do you all think of this antique Iranian warship that is still in service? Put your comment sections and opinions below. And until next time, this was J-Man Time signing off. Okay.